All right, so let's do two more. But this time we'll start with the minus cylinder and the cross cylinder. So minus cylinder, let's say we have plus three um, minus two axis 90. And then cross cylinder, let's say we have um, minus one axis, um, let's say 45, boop, boop. And then let's say plus one axis 135. Okay, so again, hit pause and um, try to figure these out on your own. And then when you've done it or got stuck, then um, hit unpause. Okay, so the top one. Um, so we'll do, you know, get some scratch paper and, and draw these out. It keeps you from getting confused. So what we have here is we have a plus three sphere lens and a minus two cylinder lens, axis 90. Three plus zero is plus three. Three plus minus two is plus one. So here we have this lens. Okay, now once we have this, we can do anything, right? So if we're gonna do it in plus cylinder, we'd find the smallest number on there. Okay, and the smallest number is plus one, that's our spherical lens. And then what do we need to add to plus one to get plus three, plus two, what do we need to add to plus one to get plus one is plano. So we have a plus one sphere and now this is plus two. What's the axis? 180 plus two axis 180. And then the power cross is super easy. I'm sorry, the cross cylinder is super easy. If we have the power cross, we just know we want a plus three up here. We know we want a plus one over here. So this must be Plano, this must be Plano. So we have plus three axis 180, boop, boop, and plus one axis 90. Perfect. All right, getting the hang of this. And now the last one. So here our axes are gonna be 45 and 135. So we know they must look like this. So minus one axis 45 and plus one axis 135. Okay, so the minus one axis 45, remember where the axis is, is where the plano is. And, oops, I should have written a plano there. And then um, plus one, axis 135. Okay, so what's our power cross going to look like? Well, the power cross from this is easy. You know it's going to be a minus one over here because minus one plus plano is minus one. And you know it has to be a plus one over here because plano plus one equals plus one. So now we know what our power cross looks like. And once you have your power cross, you can do anything. So now let's do plus cylinder. So for plus cylinder notation, again, we find the smallest number on there, and that's our spherical lens. The smallest number is minus one. So our spherical lens must be minus one. We're gonna add to it. So what do we add to minus one to get minus one? Zero, Plano. What do we add to minus one to get plus one? Plus two. And plus two axis what? Axis 135. Plus two axis 135. Last but not least, minus cylinder. So for minus cylinder, we want to start with the highest number on there. That's our spherical lens. Plus one, plus what equals minus one? Minus two, 
plus one plus what equals plus one? Plano. So our spherical lens we know has to be plus one. Our cylindrical lens must be minus two axis 45. Okay, so here's a way we can go back and forth among the different ways that we can define toric lenses.